Love has been perfected among us in this, that we may have boldness in the day of judgment, because as he is, so are we in this world. There is no fear in love, but perfect love casts out fear, because fear involves torment. But he who fears has not been made perfect in love. We love him because he first loved us. 1 John chapter 4, verses 17 through 19. And welcome to today's five-minute message. We've been thinking about the genuineness of our Christian experience, the genuineness of our Christianity. And last week, we looked at our Christian experience and how that should play into the genuineness of our Christianity. But today, in this passage, we're going to be thinking about the genuineness of our Christianity and our Christian expectation. What if I told you that this message wasn't going to be five minutes long? What if I told you it was going to be 10 minutes long? Your expectation is that it's going to be five minutes. Anything other than that would go, hmm, like, what's going on here? Start to ask some questions, the anxiety might rise, your stress level would go up. I thought this was supposed to be five minutes. What is your expectation of being a Christian? Well, one of the issues that we deal with as Christians is the day of judgment. It's coming. It's going to happen. Jesus Christ is going to judge the world. He's going to judge everything. He is, he is the almighty judge. As a believer in Jesus Christ, I recognize that I no longer have to deal with this issue of judgment. Jesus has already taken my punishment on the cross. And it says this in 1 John chapter 4, verse 17. Love has been perfected among us in this, that we may have boldness in the day of judgment. Now, why might we have boldness in the day of judgment? What is it that we are expecting? We expect that when the day of judgment comes, we don't have anything to worry about. We're free as a bird. There's no stress. There's no anxiety. There's not going to be any disappointment. I know exactly what to expect on the day of judgment. And now I can live my life free from that guilt, that shame, that stress, that anxiety. I can live in such a way that I am now free to love other people and that love can be perfected in me now that that issue is taken off of my shoulders. How many of us are dealing with anxiety, depression, other issues like this, mental health issues, as it relates to the judgment that's coming? It can be a big stressor. Love has been perfected among us that we may have boldness in the day of judgment. We don't have to worry about that. It isn't supposed to be a stressor of ours. We know exactly what to expect. Genuine Christians don't live their lives with those sorts of worries or anxieties regarding the day of judgment. Love has been perfected in you. There is no fear in love. Why? Because fear involves torment. Perfect love casts out fear. Love can be perfected in us, matured in us, completed in us, and I can love people like Jesus loved people now that I don't have this monkey on my back. The torment that's involved in facing the day at judgment is gone. Love has cast it out. Love is now free for me to express to other people, to demonstrate to other people, and the genuineness of my Christianity can be on display for everybody to see. I don't have to worry about this stuff anymore. But he who fears has not been made perfect in love. Do you fear the coming of the Lord Jesus? Do you fear the day of judgment? Do you fear what is going to happen to you when you die? There's a lot of people out there that are very afraid of what's going to happen to them when they die. Maybe they think they're just going to be worm food. They're going to be thrown into a grave. They're afraid. They don't know what's going to happen. Fear involves torment. He who fears has not been made perfect in love. We love because he first loved us. He loved us enough to come to this earth, to die on the cross for our sins, to take our shame, take our punishment, take our guilt, to take away our sin so that we can experience genuine Christianity and share the love that has been first given to us. We can now share that with other people. We have a confident expectation of what's going to happen in the future.